Hello folks, I hope you're all doing very well. We're currently flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the big screen beyond over Belgium. And I'm going to give you six things that this headset does better than any VR headset currently on the market today. So join me after a quick word from VR Rock. VR Rock offer a wide selection of custom made prescription lens inserts and I'm pleased to announce that they are now offering MetaQuest 3 pre-orders and if you check the link in the description below you'll even get a nice 10% discount code for my subscribers. Now if you're you know getting a Quest 3 or whether you've got a Vario Aero they have a full range of lens inserts and that discount code will apply to all of them. Whether you wear glasses or not I would recommend a pair of lens inserts simply because it makes VR more comfortable it's better for your eyes and also helps protect your lenses. Anyway, back to the video. So welcome back and uh, yeah, just to say I have been using the Big Screen Beyond as my daily driver for the past, well, week now, if not longer. And the point of doing that is instead of going backwards and forwards between different VR headsets, I want to see what it's like to live with the Big Screen Beyond. And I've come up with at least six things that this headset does better than any VR headset I've ever tried. And at the time of recording, I've tried all of them. <laughs> right, let's just turn ATC down for a minute so they don't interrupt me. So the first thing is the fact, I mean the obvious thing here, is it is the most comfortable VR headset ever made. That is thanks to the weight only being around 180 grams with the faceplate attached. Without, it's about 127 uh, grams, which is just insane. And that weight translates to a absolutely phenomenal experience. This session I'm in right now, I've been in it for two and a half hours solid, and I feel absolutely fine right now. In fact, it's almost like after about 20 minutes, the cushion, the foam, because it's, you know, contoured to your face, it's moulded to your face shape, it's almost like you, you forget you're wearing a VR headset. And honestly, I've never had that experience before with any headset, of course, because they're all really big, let alone the Pimax. So even the Aero is massive compared to this. So yes, this is without question the most incredibly light and most comfortable headset I've ever worn, period. Number two has to be the OLED screen. In fact, at the time's recording, I don't really know of any other VR headset that has a micro OLED display with a high resolution like this. And, oh, it makes a massive difference, folks. Um, particularly with the colors. It's just, amazing in this thing especially a sunset scene like this is phenomenal it really is it's just it's hard to describe it guys but when you're used to lcd panels which we all are these days unfortunately with vr headsets once you go back to an oled screen and particularly one that's this high resolution it is very difficult to go back so even though that's number two, I am going to put this separately, and that is the black levels of the OLED screen. That's number three, because I feel this has to be two different reasons, simply because the OLED screen gives you better colors overall, but when you turn the lights down, oh my word, folks, I cannot say this enough flying at night like this. It's going to look rubbish on YouTube, unfortunately. It is jaw-dropping. From the incredible lights of the cities and towns below us, that moon over there looks amazing, to the real pure black of the countryside. And in this cockpit as well, if I just turn this light off completely, which I probably shouldn't do really, because no, I won't do that because I won't be able to see, because it literally is that dark. Just everything pops out so well. And even the Pimax crystal with the local dimming and QLED panel, which is gorgeous, does not compete 
against this headset. Nothing does. And at the time of this recording, there isn't any micro OLED high resolution headsets out there on the market. So this absolutely is a huge party piece of this headset. So number four is a strange one actually, and I don't think anyone's gonna mention this in their big screen beyond reviews apart from me. And that's because I'm very picky with image quality, especially as a flight simmer, I spend a lot of time looking at the sky. Kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> and every single VR headset I've ever used, and I mean everyone, even the Aero suffers from it a little bit, and that is Mura. And simply put, Mura is the inconsistencies of the pixels in the panel. And it presents as a bit of a sort of fogging or perhaps a grayness to the image. And I'm glad to say the big screen beyond with its micro OLED technology as I'm looking here at the sky, it's absolutely picture perfect. There's just no graininess or anything between me and that blue sky. It looks just so perfect. I feel like I could just stare at it forever. And of course, there's no screen door effect either. So it's just a beautiful, crisp and clear image. No headset I've ever come across has done that as good as the big screen beyond. And that's why that is the number four thing that this headset does better. And I think for a flight simmer, that's pretty important because you are looking quite a lot at the sky and just, you know, I think of all the ways to use a VR headset, flying is the most probably nitpicky thing you could do to really notice any imperfections of any VR headset. And I'm pleased to say the big screen beyond scores are very highly indeed on that regard. Number five, well, you probably notice, well hopefully, that my voice sounds pretty good today. I'm using the Big Screen Beyond microphone and again, it is absolutely the very best microphone I've ever heard on a VR headset. I think you'll agree on that one, that's pretty obvious. Um, it's just such high quality and makes recording content an absolute pleasure. So Big Screen Beyond, thank you for including a super high quality microphone. It makes all the difference. So to recap, this headset is the most comfortable I've ever worn. It has the best colors, the best black levels, the best microphone, and there's zero Mura. All those things are better than any other VR headset I've ever tried. I think the last thing before I disappear <laughs> uh, over the English channel, and I can see there there's some cloud forming, is probably just the lack of inertia. When dogfighting or sim racing or even just moving around here, I'll do it slowly for the camera because I know it's not very nice if I move really quickly, the headset just stays exactly where it should be, which means it just feels so seamless. And yes, you could tie this in with the comfort, but I think this is worth a point on its own. Because again, any VR headset I've ever tried, if I look up like this and then down, I can feel the movement of the headset on my face. I don't feel that with the big screen beyond. And it makes a huge difference to making you feel very free and relaxed in VR. It really does. So there's my six points. I could probably go on, to be honest. There's probably more I could think of. But uh, yeah, I think overall, as I'm getting to know this headset more and more, I'm absolutely not just liking it, but loving it. And I don't really want to be without it anymore, <laughs> quite honestly. And it's been quite a journey with this headset so far. So I thought I'd just uh, give you that update video and I'll keep posting videos as things come to me because you know you can't really um, say these things just doing a quick review of the headset or even having it for a couple of weeks you know you need to have it for a long time and as I'm getting to know it more and more I'm starting to get a bit concerned about going back to any other headset simply because I'm getting really used to the weight the size and the micro OLED technology as well the OLED panel on this is Oh, unbelievable, guys. And in fact, I'm just going to do that now. Put it back to sunset. If I can get my mouse, which is decided not to work for some reason. There we go. 
We'll go back to sunset. Oh my god, that looks absolutely amazing. And then down to darkness. That is... <laughs> every time it wows me. It really does. So anyway, folks, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know in the comments below what do you think about the big screen beyond. I'm going to continue now. I'm nearly three hours in and I'm still feeling very, very good in this headset. If you do want to um, pick up a big screen beyond and my videos have been very useful, please feel free to use my affiliate link. It really does help support future content. But for now, I'll see you again very soon. Take care and bye for now.